this video, we'll show you how to create and order an Integrity album using McKenna Easy Order. If you have not previously downloaded our software, you can do so from our website at www.mckennapro.com. Once you have downloaded the software, you will have a shortcut on your desktop. The icon is a white M in a blue box. Double click on this icon to launch the software. After launching McKenna Easy Order, navigate to the Order Print screen and choose the Integrity Albums catalog. On the Integrity Album Info page, you will see a link to download the base page templates and more page backgrounds. This will provide you the Photoshop page templates and many more background options. This is a great resource if you would like more freedom in your designs. First, we will choose a paper type. We are going to request Luster, our standard photo paper. Next, choose the album size. Once we select the 10 by 10 album, more options will appear in the options panel. You will notice there is a new pane above the workspace. When the stacked pages icon is selected, you can see cover and template options. When the open book icon is selected, you can see thumbnails of your spreads. These thumbnails can be moved to change their position in the album. Now we will select a cover type. There are six choices. We are going to choose the leather back cover with a photo front. To choose this cover, drag and drop the cover from the pane above the workspace into the workspace. You will notice that part of the image is grayed out. This is the wrap portion of the cover. Your image will fill the entire space. However, anything in the wrap area will wrap around the album cover or possibly be cut off. Keep this in mind when placing your image. You will not want any important text or image elements on the wrap portion. In the options panel, you will see size options. Here is where you choose your leather type. We are going to choose black croc. You also have the option here to have your studio name or logo stamped on the back cover. Now we are ready to place our cover image. You may either drag and drop or double click on the image to place it on the cover. Then readjust the image to fit the area to your liking. Now that we have completed the cover, let's go on to the inside spreads. To navigate between pages of the book, go directly below the workspace and click on the arrows on each side of the page numbers. Albums have a minimum of six spreads and a maximum of 30 spreads. We will be making an album with seven spreads. Above the preview area, where it says front, inside, left, we are going to select white end leaves by dragging them into the workspace. The first half page says, leave blank if the first page is a full spread. By leaving it blank, the white end leaves will cover both the inside front cover and the first half spread. Navigate to pages one and two, the first full spread, by clicking the right arrow. Above the workspace, drag and drop templates will load that you can use to create your album with ease. To choose a template, drag and drop it into the preview area. Templates that have an S after them are split templates. On these you have the ability to have two different half spreads with a different fill color or picture on each side. One point to make here is that you may use one of the templates or place your images directly onto the blank spread. Under size options, you will find background graphics and the option to change the opacity of the graphic. If you are using these background graphics, choose them before you start placing your images. This is important since choosing a background will reset the page and empty out any current images you have placed. You may also choose a fill color and change the opacity from here. Once you have chosen your background, you can drag and drop your images into the template. If you place an image onto the template and want to remove it, hit backspace to remove the image or replace it by dragging a new image on top of it. If you would like to add a black or white stroke around your images, you will find this under size options. There are three stroke size options for each color. When we load the album, it will load the minimum of six spreads. However, today we are making a seven spread book, so we will need to add one more. You can add spreads before or after any full spread in the book. To do this, press the rectangle with an arrow around it beside the page turn button. To add one before the current page, press the add page button on the left, and to add after the current page, press the add page button on the right. If you want to delete a spread after adding it, 
You will press the minus symbol in the bottom left corner of the page turning bar. All the way to the right, there is a refresh symbol. If you press that, you can reset the pages completely or remove all of the images. Now I'm going to go through and finish adding the images to the rest of the album. When you are happy with your album, press Add to Cart. In your shopping cart, you can view thumbnails of your entire album and go back and edit your album if need be. On the right, there are more options available, such as upgraded packaging. These options are great because they give your client a display and storing option. From your cart, you can save the album by pressing Save for Later. This is a good tool to use if you think you may want to reorder the album with the same images in the future as a sample. If you are not planning to reorder the same exact album but would like to save the layout, go back to the workspace and create a favorite. This will save all template and background options. You can now check out. Thank you for letting us walk you through creating a custom McKenna Integrity album.